start. First match is going to happen on Amazonia. Um, yeah, it's kind of a, like it's not really a new map, but it's one of the newest that is being played um, behind Crystal Kingdom and such or Nomad Isle. I think uh, right before that, this match started to establish um, in like I don't know 2009, 2010, somewhat, maybe 2011 even. So we have um, the human player Hawk with his account um, Look Around as light blue human player on the top position on Amazonia, and um, to the bottom we have Cloud9, which is Cash. And he's playing as Orc as usual with purple, purple haze, purple Orc. Um, so score is still zero zero. Match is just going to start here. It's gonna be I I don't know. Uh, I think it's a best of best of three. It's not gonna be best of five. Sorry about that. I th said best of five before. It's going to be best of three. Okay. So first we see an Archmage uh, for Hawk, no fast hero, some break, and this is the good thing about replays, breaks are just going to be skipped as breaks are stupid and lame. Um, so Archmage has a first hero, down here we see a Blade Master, let's see if he builds another burrow before the tech, he has to, he absolutely has to, I don't know what I have to, I'm talking about. There's the uh, Voodoo Lounge, so he can equip himself with some healing salves and maybe a scroll of speed or clarity potion as well let's see what he's going to try uh, to do with his blade master in the early early phase um, what is he going to creep first is he yeah he's going for the renegade wizard gets a purge and there's the first footman which the human player doesn't need for his creep spot on the top side of the map he's going to find claws of attack plus six um, which is a good item still um, doesn't really matter for a human player, but yeah, makes makes a little bit of difference if you playing uh, if you're playing a um, bit more pressure style, and yeah, grunts fall more easily, but with 700 hit points, it's unlikely that it happens anyways. Um, so the rogue is going to be killed. Yeah, and now let's see. No, he um, yeah interrupts his creeping and walks to the shop let's see what he's doing next human player also reached level 2 found s uh, found gauntlet strength gauntlet gauntlets of ogre strength tier 2 tech on the way for both players human player bit faster and and he uh, tagged with 24 supply and now both players um, meet each other in the middle of the map has the flying sheep. Always fun to be around. To have it around. Mm. <coughs> yeah, so let's see how this match is going to go on. Both players are trying to um, get boots as it seems. Archmage gets them first. But Cash knows what's happening. And he's Go going to get um boots as well and no staff of teleportation. Uh, human player is now in the base of the orc but this is just little um uh, I don't know what even what I what what I'm what I should say about this. It's not really um important I guess. So he's uh running around and his opponent knows yeah he knows where he is so he's starting to creep Let's see if he can manage to kill it and get the experience points. Yes, level 2 for the Blade Masters as well. And he finds, um, I think it was Medal of Intelligence. But I didn't really pay attention. Um, yeah, he gets a footman as well. And in the main base of the human player we will soon see some arcane sanctums. Whereas the orc player still has to... Um, wait for his time to be able to tag, uh, to build tier 2 tag um, buildings. Oh wow, killed his own grunt with a burrow. That was a good move. And now it uh, seems like um, Hawk gets a little bit over, e over eager, but ogre eager, yeah. Mm. 
I hope um, yeah, that he gets away there with his footman, but we never know. Our Who knows? No, not against this one. And he dies. Fucking footman dies. So, Mount King and two Arcane Sanctums on the way. Hawk is a bit um, slow with his second one, but his first one is finished soon and we see that there's going to be a beastry first and a spirit lodge for cash. This is going to take a while because his tech was a bit slower. Mount King is already there and the blade master is in the middle of the map. Shadowhunter is the second here of course. Mm, yeah. So now the human player can um, pressure a bit Job or done. creep in a um, self-conscious way. Like he doesn't really have to worry about creep checks at the moment. Because he's not gonna take much damage, but he, of course the Blade Master can still... No. But he stole the uh, sentry wards, this is still very good. He doesn't um, have to worry about his opponent having sentry wards somewhere and the blader gets caught without him knowing about it. Ah, wow. So he must have clicked on the blade master right when he um, when he used the sentry wards. Or this is just a common spot to put a sentry ward to. First castles are there. And there's a Sasquatch. Wow. One second. Why was really wait, wait a second, please. Okay, everything's fine. We are just gonna continue. I just thought that I wouldn't have uh, showed you shown you the image of the game, and like I uh, everything's fine. I should just relax, relax, really. It's fine. Level three archmage and almost level two mountain king already. And the uh, Shadowhunter will reach level 2 as well. The Blade Master didn't really, uh, wasn't really able to harass on this creep uh, spot. And we will see uh, kind of quick um, adept training. He's only on 41 supply. Um, adept training is also awesome, not only because of the invisible, but also because uh, extra energy, so we will boost, I think, 50 energy afterwards. So this is awesome for all the um, gases that he's already, uh, that are already out. So we are seeing a big push with militias and towers. And his opponent should be aware of that. Yeah, he has the sentry ward over there. So he's running back and trying to get prepared as well as he can. He's beating a warmill as well. And this is yeah, kind of defensive spot for building up the towers, but of course you can build your way through to get closer to the uh, peon line and shit. Yeah, first peasant down. And the tower is being focused and it falls as well. On the other hand we see one grunt dying. Second tower gets killed off as well. And I think Cash is doing this pretty well at the moment, but let's see. Uh, yeah, he gets lots of free hits and I don't know if he can manage winning that. Let's see. Spirit Walk is already down and 42 supply versus 46, so this is still very close. Next two grunts are really low, one of them falls, second one goes down as well and... <coughs> The mountain, yeah, there's there's two mountain kings. Like one of them is an illusion. I don't know why it's not blue. Oh, and now there's a big throne on the shadow hunter, and uh, no units left for the orc player. Shito Vashi, best chance of GG. Couldn't agree more. Well played from Hawk. Uh, kind of classic human versus orc game. I don't know what Cash should have done better. Level 3 Blade Master would have been decent and um, his tier 2 take was kinda late. Um, yeah, what else? I don't know. Hmm. Tier 2 take late, second hero late, no level 3 Shadow Hunter. 
Mm, should have maybe interrupted his opponent just running there, trying to delay the tower push. I think that would have been good as well. Having an earlier warmer would have been awesome for building towers and um, demolishers. Oh, and uh, yeah, all in all, also like better uh, creeps, um, creep jacks. So yeah, now the 